Welcome back. If you saw the last episode of the Business Updates, you know that Jenny is out of town for the weekend and she left me a giant list of things to do. She'll be back tomorrow. So today I have to finish up uh, designing the furniture that she sold to some friends of ours. I've got to get a final SketchUp rendering over to the client for approval. And then I've got to clean up the house and get everything ready for Jenny to come back and it's gonna be a great time. I hope I have pulled everything off to the quality standard Jenny was expecting of me. It's been pretty tough, but uh, I think we're gonna be okay. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Today, the objective is to design some furniture. So Jenny uh, contacted some friends and they want two new console tables. They want like a record player cabinet and they want a TV cabinet. Oh my gosh. Wow. And so Jenny loosely got a design together, but uh, that's my job today is I got to go on SketchUp and I got to make this plan. And well, I don't need to make plans. I just need to make it look good enough that the customer can green light it. Then I can work on the plans later as I start to build it. Again, I don't like doing custom furniture. It's not what we want to be doing long-term, but you know, sometimes you just got to pay the bills. So uh, that's what we're doing this week and next week. So um, anyway, now I will start on the design. All right, well, we just got all that furniture designed and uh, sent off to the customer for approval. I think it turned out really nice. Uh, we'll see what they say though. Um, and I just got an email saying that we have a board order to fulfill. So get to drag everything out like yesterday. Uh, at least it's just one board this time, not 10. Man, I'm really starting to appreciate just how much Jenny does day to day. I can imagine trying to wrangle in all this chaos uh, without any employees or anybody to help out or hand it off to. So props to Jenny for sure. Alrighty, so now I get to take this guy to the UPS store and I think after that I'm gonna go to the climbing gym and work out for a little bit. Uh, also, we're out of water, so I need to grab all the water jugs and go refill those at the store. It's another day. Jenny is back with me now. We got in really late last night from picking Jenny up from the airport, so she hasn't seen all the wonderful things that I've done. Come with me. Oh my gosh. All right, first up, did you see the new table that the laser is on? I did. 
What are your thoughts and feelings about that? I like it. It used to be on our big long table against that wall, but then we needed that space for fulfillment, like making boxes and putting in crinkle paper and stuff. So it's nice to have it on a different table, but not on the floor. So I was kind of getting sick of being on my hands and knees engraved boards not gonna lie yeah it's so much nicer there uh i also got rid of one of the 90 degree bends by putting the filter out that window somebody in the comments suggested that we're losing oh, a lot of airflow because yeah. there's too many 90 degree bends so I, I got rid of a 90 degree bend by putting it against that window i like it uh also i changed out those filters so there's way more airflow because the other charcoal filter was full of sawdust and smoke and stuff so yes i also figured something out if we put some freezer paper on this table the wax and oil doesn't stay on the table and get everything else greasy. Yes, that is a problem that I needed to solve um, for a while because when I'm taking photos of boards, I know and you I get, set them down. You get the grease and wax all over. Yes, all so, over my backdrop. Uh, slick side up on this freezer paper, and we can finish the boards there and then fold this up and the table stays clean. Anyway, so I did that. Oh, uh, I fulfilled 10 of your board orders. See? They're all right down here. They're ready to go. So. Thank you. Yes, I only, so right before I left, I got a phone call from the realtor that ordered all these and she was like, I need 13. And I was like, oh gosh, cool. And it was the night before I hopped on an airplane the next morning. Where did you go? Can we tell them where you went? I went back home um, because my little brother got married. A lot of you, if you remember Eric, who was on the videos, um, came out here for a while, worked with us and helped us out. He got married, so congratulations to him. We I couldn't go him. because I was flying through a tropical storm. Fred, thanks Fred. Yeah, thanks Fred. Anyways, so that's where I was. Um, so yeah, she ordered 13 boards. Um, obviously I could not fulfill all 13 that night. And so I was like, hey, when are your next closings? And she's like, oh, well, a lot of them aren't until like a week and a half from now. I was like, perfect. I'll get you the first two you need and we'll get the other 11 to you at a different time. So um, now is that different time. Now is that different time. So Davis came home, helped me finish up the rest of them and we're gonna uh, get them to her today. I forgot to film your reaction for when you saw the furniture design. So can you act reacted to the camera now? Oh. Yeah, just okay. tell me how good of a job I did. Oh my gosh, these look so amazing. They look exactly like what I drew up. Actually way better than what I drew up because I'm not that great at drawing. But they look really good. I think I like them. Did the client like them? Yes, the client really liked them. I think it, nobody expects us to be able to put like furniture and make like a 3D render of like a real living room. Um, and so I think when they see that it's a really nice touch. So now before we call in and get the wood ordered, I have to lay it all out in SketchUp and see how much wood do we need to order. Uh, some of it's gonna be plywood, but most of it's gonna be solid wood. So um, yeah, I get to play around more in SketchUp. Hi, can I put in an order for pickup? Yeah, so I need three sheets of three quarter inch walnut plywood, one sheet of quarter inch walnut plywood, 50 board feet of four quarter walnut. Um, and do you guys have walnut edge banding with the glue on it, just the iron on? Yeah, credit card number is... All right, cool, thanks so much. Yep, bye. Well, we were almost done for the week. We had already had our weekly meeting and everything and the business phone starts ringing and we got an order for two more boards to fulfill. So one is going to a realtor that we sold boards to. Um, he just wanted one. He saw that we could do his logo for another work associate of his. And so he wanted one. He's so like, I want one with my logo on it. Like just for me. So he used one of his boards for himself, which is awesome. Which is 
Awesome. Uh, and then he's got another one that he wants to send to a builder that he works with. So maybe the builder will be interested in some boards. So yeah. Anyway, win right there. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, it's this been is, a long day. It's been a long week. But we are coming off of like three week span of being in and out. And one of us has consistently been gone. And so I kind of knew this was coming. I don't know if you did, but I kind of knew this was coming. <laughs> it's all the same to me. <laughs> All right, well, the video's over, but the week is not. We still need to go pick up the wood today and then um, get started working on those console tables. Yes. So uh, subscribe, follow along as we start our woodworking business here in the Houston area. Things are starting to pick up for us. Yes, which uh, is good. We're also doing the hurricane fundraiser right now. We're in the thick of hurricane season, so check the description, buy a shirt. All the proceeds go to Hurricane Disaster Relief, so check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan